Blessings, parents. So, blessings, parents. Ah, African parents. African parents strike again. I'm an African parent too. And I have to say, uh, what these parents are trying to do, first of all, please correct me. If it is a hoax, let me know. Is it a hoax? Is it a prank on us? Are you pranking us? Let, let us know. Let me know. If anybody knows, please let me know because I'm not sure what's going on. So, um, your daughter failed all her GCSEs. What I want to know is, were you aware of any warning signs that she was going to fail the GCSE? Because usually you can tell when a child is going to do well and when a child is not going to do well in the GCSE. So you get an idea because there are parents' teachers' evenings that you will attend where teachers will tell you how your child is doing and uh, what they think she's going to be able to do. And when they did mock exams, did they do any mock exams in the school or not? So how did she do in the mock exams? Did she do really well in the mock exams or suddenly fail her actual GCSEs? No, so there must have been one inside. So if she failed her mocks, you didn't take away her social media at that time. Why not? Or were there any parents' teachers' meetings? Were there any? Did you attend them or not? That's what I want to know. Did you speak to Blessing about how she feels about the exams coming up? Yes, no. Have you ever helped Blessing with any kind of school-related things at all? Whether it's academic or whether it's social, extracurricular. Have you helped Blessing? Have you talked to your daughter about any of these things before? I'm just asking because I want to know before I... I don't want to pass judgment. I'm not going to pass judgment on, on, on the parents at all. But I have questions. These are the questions I'm asking. Um... When Blessing went to do the exam and came back from the exam, did you ask her how the exam went? And did she say, yeah, the exam went absolutely fine and I think I'm going to do great? Or did she say, no, the exam seemed really difficult. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. When Blessing was revising for each exam, did you see her revising is the question I should ask. Did you see her revising or did you not see her revising? Or did you think she was revising and she was in her room on social media? That is another question I want to ask because you could have taken the phone away from her and tablet or whatever during the revision time. You could have. But there are warning signs before anybody fails the exam. There are always warning signs, whether somebody's going to do well or not. Yes. And secondly, the other question I want to ask is, or one of the many other questions I want to ask is, is blessing academic or is she more creative or artistic or is she more entrepreneurial or you know what i mean you know what i'm getting at because not every child is academic not every child knows how to pass exam it's one thing to be intelligent and there are many different types of intelligence right not all of them have to do with academics it's one thing to be intelligent it's another thing to know how to pass an exam that's number one number, you know you should have had some kind of help before the exam to know how to pass the exam, that's number one. So if Blessing didn't pass any of her GCSEs, the reason for it, is it because she didn't study, she's not capable of passing the exams because she's just not that type? Or is it because she's capable and just didn't put the work in? We need to differentiate so that we know what we're dealing with here. If she's capable and she didn't pass the exams and it's because she wasn't serious, then why? Maybe she's not interested. It's not the end of the world. Are there other things that she's good at doing? Let her go and do it. And then she can retake the exam. She can still retake the exam. But if she's interested, maybe she wants to be a hairdresser. Maybe she wants to be a hairdresser. Let her just retake the exams and pass. So she has that in her pocket. Then encourage her to go and pursue whatever is her passion or her dream. Why do parents, African parents, think that the only way you can succeed in this life is taking exams and going to university. It isn't. Is there an apprenticeship that she would like to do? She got into college, at least. She got into sixth form. You're saying she just managed to get in, but she got in. Ah, so what else do you want? Because when she's finished her A-levels, nobody is going to ask you, what did you get in your GCSE? Unless you want to do medicine. But it's rare that anybody will ask you what you got in your GCSE. It is not too late for her to do well. It is not too late for her to do well. If she wants to do well in her A-levels or whatever it is that she's doing at college, she can still do well. She can still put the work in. But uh, embarrassing her on social media is not the way to go. No, African parents. You can't think that punishing your children is always going to result in 
in the right outcome. It isn't. You can't think that embarrassing your children is always going to make them do the right thing. It isn't. You're just going to make them feel bad about themselves. And there's no use in that. We need to stop traumatizing our children. Our generation was traumatized, though. We need to stop it and stop this vicious cycle. It's not right. It's not fair. I've talked about this several times. It's not fair. Allow these children to live. Allow them to live. You understand what I mean? Because they are human beings. You are in charge of their lives, yes. But they are human beings with souls, right? Allow them to express themselves the way they want to express themselves. And treat them with love. Please, do not shame a child who did not pass exams. Never shame a child who did not reach the standard that you think that they should reach. That is never going to give you good outcomes. Shaming a child. Mm -mm, it isn't. One thing that you have to remember is you must always treat a child according to the potential of what you want them to achieve. Not according to where they are. According to where you think that they can get to. According to what you think they can achieve. Right? Not according to any failures or, or any mistakes. Ah! I'm tired. I don't know what to say anymore. I really don't know what to say anymore. But we need to change. If you guys are able to post video on TikTok, then you are able to know that times have changed. There are many people in this part of the world out of Africa and even in Africa who are exceptionally gifted, who are very, very successful and they don't have one GCSE to their name. And they're successful in life. They make money. They have so many accomplishments. They don't have one GCSE. That's a shame. That's a shame. But it's okay. We will see the rise of blessing. Blessing, we are all behind you. Even African parents like me, there are some of us like me, we are behind you. You will do well. You will do well. God will see you through. Who didn't want to be those parents that quote unquote humiliate their children online on social media? However, it has gotten to the point where Blessing has found herself in this desperate situation. She has bombed her GCSEs and she's not in a good place. She's barely made it into college and we don't tolerate this kind of behavior. So, as such, she will be off all forms of social media. If you attempt to contact her, it will be us that you're speaking to until further notice. Hello guys. Um, for those who don't know us, I am Blessing's dad and this is my wife, um, Abigail. Um, Blessing has done awful in her GCSEs in secondary school and um, the reason is because she couldn't concentrate too many distractions for her she's gotten off social media we are getting rid of all her social accounts if you want to reach out to her you can reach out to us and we will let her know your concerns she needs to get serious for college because she barely made it into college this is not the right way to go for all of you that advised her or were involved in her getting worse. This is not the right way to go, boys and girls. And I say it from a place of experience. We are young parents and we want well for our daughter. We've had to take this extreme measure, which is very humiliating. We hope this creates a change in her life. And I hope this also creates a change in your lives if you're thinking of following the path of just not being serious with your education.